Hi Aries, welcome to Starkeology Tarot. I am Desi, this is my channel. I will be your reader for this December tarot reading. Can't wait to see what is in store for you this month. Looking for a divine messages um, for Aries for the month of December. I'm calling in spirit, calling in source energy, calling in Aries guides, spirit guides, ascended masters, angels, archangels. If you're watching this video, your guides are here. Um, you are part of the intended collective. This video is meant for you. This reading is meant for you. And your guides know that, of course. Your guides have always known that. That's why they're the guides. What are the divine messages for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. This is good for any messages that are resonant are the ones that are meant for you. Those that are not resonant are not meant for you. So graciously allow those move through you, past you, to those whom they are destined for. divine messages for Aries for the month of December. Oh, hoo, 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 Aries. Hot diggity dog, Aries. Okay, okay. Page of Wands, bottom of the deck. Hot diggity dog. I don't know if I've ever said that in my life, but these cards made me say it, so... <laughs> We got the Page of Wands, bottom of the deck. The Death card, the Three of Cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. Oh my god. What transformation you are going through this month, Aries. What the heck is going on? I want to know all about it. Le comment below, please. Um, something. Some of you are... You are in a state of you are in a state of death right now. You're experiencing death. You're experiencing a death right now. Um, others of you, something's already died. Um, or someone, I'm hearing for some of you, are in the grieving process already. And for those of you, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, Something or someone has died. For others of you, it's um, it's not as clear as like a very obvious ending. It's not as clear as um, you know, a person or a job. I'm hearing for some of you, it's this concrete thing, you know, ending, dying. Um, for some of you, it's a it's like a pattern. It's a cycle that's come to an end. It's um, it's something that's kind of immaterial and um, hard to even put into words. Maybe even um, it lives in the realm of thought or feeling. But you are, you feel like there's been a shift in you. You feel like something has ended. Um, some of you, I'm feeling like. Uh, you're coming out of a depression. The, the depression died. Um, others of you, I'm, I'm hearing, there was a, just a way of thinking or a way of feeling that has died for you. And even if it wasn't good for you, you're still in the mourning process. You're still grieving it, as you should. Even the things that weren't necessarily good for us deserve to be mourned. Because good, bad, and everything in between is what makes us. It's what creates us. It, it's what gives us death and beauty. The bad things and the good things alike. Which kind of make even the bad things good, right? Um, ultimately. So, you're... You're on the other side, most of you are on the other side of this death. Some of you, I'm going to say, just because this is early December still, some of you are still in it. 
you know, something is dying. What is beautiful is that December becomes a month of celebration for you. This death brings you closer to people. It's some of you I'm seeing like this kind of death, it, it allows you to reconnect with people who were important to you at one point that maybe you've been disconnected from, reconnect with friends, reconnect with community, feel a real kind of like camaraderie, sisterhood, brotherhood, something that um, some of you, I think like you've been missing that. Um, maybe this thing that died or this person that died uh, while they or it was alive, it was, it was depriving you of that. Oh, I'm yawning. I mean, something's releasing. Um, yeah, some of you are really releasing something regarding that. Um, I'm hearing this thing that died was draining you. There is like a huge emotional release that's that's happening um, post death. And it's like a, a really deep catharsis. So this three of cups, you are really like entering a period of fun. Like you're going to be having fun areas. You're going to be celebrating, going to feel joyful. It's just going to be like, there's going to be a sense of frivolity, like, um, and some of it's going to be in a, in a very strange sense because you're also still maybe mourning or grieving this part of you that died or this part of your life that died, this part of your world. Um, and so that kind of makes for a strange reality where you are holding space for this duality of, of grieving and mourning, but then also seeing the beauty that, that death brings because death often does that. Death always is followed by birth, always. Energy can be neither created nor destroyed. So when something goes away, something new fills that space. And um, some of you are experiencing a, just a huge transition. Others of you, this death, it, it, another way to think about it, if you're like, I don't feel like anything died, it just could be a, a metamorphosis. You're on the other side of a huge transition, a huge metamorphosis. And that transition, that metamorphosis is the thing that is allowing you to just like let loose and celebrate and feel just just like socialize I want to say like it's like but not for the not, but for really like deep and beautiful reasons it's like I'm socializing because I want to be connected to people I want to be connected to my community I want to just enjoy this I want to enjoy this transition enjoy this place that I'm in right now um this is also, I, I want to say this death and this transition also is very much aligned with this page of wands, which is the building of a new foundation um, towards something that you want. Some of you are starting to study something that you have long wanted to study. Um, you've wanted to become something and now you're starting to take classes to learn how to do that. You're like being a student again. You're putting yourself in that page position, that student mindset, like that observational mindset. Others of you, it's not as obvious. It's more, it's almost more like, I wanna be, become observational and curious about my own desires. And then use that, what I learn from that curiosity to build my life moving forward, as opposed to living my life reactively. Reactively to my circumstances. No, I wanna get curious about what it is that I want, what I feel desire towards, what I feel attracted to, what gives me that spark and I want to use that to build my foundation. That's very Page of Wands energy. Um, and that might be affecting what this, this sense of community and connection and frivolity and play and friendship is about. You might be making friends with people who align with this mission for you. People who supported you in this transition. People who su supported you in this um, through this death, through this rebirth through this metamorphosis, through um, this new beginning, people who have your back and are holding your hand or, or people who are going through it alongside you. And you're like, oh, I'm bonded now to these people for life because they've gone through this transition with me. And now we, we can rejoice in our connection, it, our connection 
that was given to us through this potentially difficult transition as deaths and births often are. The only card we have left here, Aries, is the Nine of Pentacles, which is just so beautiful. I'm like, you know, I usually I'm, I read this last position as, as advice, and I'm just like, it's kind of funny. It's almost like the advice is, um, is to bank on your success, <laughs> to bank on your success when you know that you have been true to yourself every step of the way, when you know that every action you take, every decision you made, you were certain in those moments, you were certain that even if there was doubt, there was still a sense of certainty, like I have to do this, I have to do this. And I'm doubtful, I'm scared about where it's gonna lead, lead me but there was certainty in the moment just about the action or the decision, the move alone. It's that kind of certainty that is what builds, what, what moves us towards ultimate success and achievement. This nine of pentacles figure of this woman who's just like looking at her garden lovingly, like look at all this that I've done, you know? she's. She can be proud, she can, she can rest on her laurels because she knew that she did everything that she could. She has that certainty. She knew she, di she did what she had to do in every, at every given moment. She was true to herself at every given moment. So that's what makes the success sweet. That's what makes achievement achievement. When we deny ourselves that kind of soul certainty of like, I'm doing this because I have to do it. Um, or we do it, we do that for someone else's certainty, you know, instead of our own, in place of our own. Then oftentimes the result we don't feel as strong in. We don't feel like we can, we can stand so strongly in it because we're like, we sometimes will ask, well, what if I had listened to myself? What if I had done the thing that I, that that little nagging feeling in, was telling me to do, excuse me. Um, you know, what if, what if? This is also telling me, Aries, that if this death, if this transition had anything to do with a sacrifice you made, it will be worth it because that nine of pentacles often is also about making sacrifices that we are certain in the moment, I have to make this. And I'm scared how it's gonna turn out. I'm scared how it's gonna look, whatever it is. We get to that place of achievement, of success, of, of certainty, of just like being able to depend on ourselves and our life. Like I, I trust. this this world that I built for myself. We get that sometimes through sacrifices that we had to make. So if you were feeling like there is a sacrifice, um, this actually might be the message that was meant for all of you all along, I don't know, but just because it is in the advice position, it makes me think if there was a sacrifice linked to this death and rebirth, this transition, um, know that you had to make it, you had to. And there was, your higher self knows that, but your mind, your, our poor minds, our poor brains, um, your brain, of course, will continue to second guess that, will continue to be like, well, what about this? And here's some doubt. And um, that's when you need to turn to your community. That's when you need to turn to the people who have your back um, so that they can tell you what they see, which is often the truth that we can't see for ourselves. Um, but know that you, you had to do that. And you can rest in that certainty of knowing that you had to do that in order to surrender to this inevitable
transition for you. That's another element that, you know, death, we can't, we can't cheat death. You couldn't cheat this transition. You couldn't cheat this rebirth. And the sacrifice that you made to surrender to it, to let go, is noble and right. So I hope that is what your heart needed today. Um, I would love to hear how this manifests specifically for you in your life, Aries. Um, feel free to comment below. If you haven't liked or subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, and if you would like to help me help you better, meaning um, support this channel, make it grow, make it better, um, help me, give me the time and resources to be doing so many more different types of readings for you, then please check out my Patreon in the link below. Um, you can support me for just a few dollars a month and that makes such a big difference that I'm so grateful and if you'd like to book a private session with me you can do that through my website below as well I am booking readings for the new year um, thank you so much Aries check out your other placements Sun Moon Rising Venus and uh, I'm wishing you the most beautiful December and I'm just visualizing you as the butterfly that you have become um, after this metamorphosis. You're beautiful. I love you. Goodbye.